The Marysville School District hosted a final meeting on potential school closures, and tonight we've learned they are not considering any specific schools to close their doors. But some parents and educators are still worried that their schools could be on the chopping block. So thanks for joining us for the News at 10. I'm David Gross. And I'm Matthew Smith. Sabira Rayford has the night off. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling is live at Marysville Middle School, where that meeting just wrapped up a short time ago. And Jennifer, what all did you hear inside? Well, I heard from both the interim superintendent and from parents that some creative ideas have been shared regarding the consolidation or closing of some schools in the Marysville School District in the future. Meantime, the district is hoping to save maybe one to two million dollars by closing potentially an elementary school and a middle school. Parents I talked to say they're hoping the district considers low income students and their needs when thinking about these future plans. She's not quite as worried as her brother. Parent Tanya Mathers has two youngsters who attend Liberty Elementary. <laughs> Daughter Jasmine and son Jaden are nervous that their school could close. <laughs> A proposition to close Liberty, made previously by former superintendent Zachary Robbins and his administration, put the family on edge. Not much we can do until they make a decision and he knows where we're going. The Hispanic parents have a lot of questions. Liberty paraeducator and parent Laura Murrell says she'd like the district to consider the number of low-income students who live nearby, something that might not have been considered before. How many complex that surround our building are housing hope or low income, transitional housing, and how is that going to affect our families? Interim Superintendent Dave Burgess says the district will gather feedback before any decisions are made. There are a number of, uh, of our uh, community members that have thought way outside the box and presented ideas that uh, honestly we'd never even contemplated before. He gave an example Monday. The idea of consolidating uh, grades at uh, the high school level so that we may have 8th and 9th on one campus of a current high school and then 10, 11, 12 at another single high school. Monday's meeting follows the resignation announcement of the district HR director last week after only about three months on the job. Obviously caught me very much by surprise. Um, I think the world of Brooke Marshall. Burgess says the district may have already found a potential interim replacement. A talented person that's worked in HR for the uh, Tacoma School District. So we met with her today and uh, we're interested in trying to get uh, some of the HR issues that we've got resolved. And Burgess says that the district is also welcoming members of the committee to volunteer, or excuse me, members of the community to volunteer on a committee in order to examine the school closure issue. He says that he wants a broad base of people from different schools and different backgrounds in order to participate. He says that committee could eventually advise the board or recommend, it, recommend changes to the board on school closures. Reporting live in Marysville, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.